Hey Facebook, this is Krisha here for you today. I'm excited for today's um, live stream. Um, I, I'm also really excited to share with you um, the secrets to losing weight naturally and to really truly finally making peace with food. So I have um, you know, powerfully coached hundreds of women over the last few years, um, high achieving women just like you, women on a mission um, to live your best life. And I've learned after all of these years and doing it myself that the weight gain and subsequent loss isn't usually about the food at all. You already know what to eat. You already know what healthy eating looks like. You already know to move your body. You already know that you should be going to the gym. These, that's not the issue. That's not the reason why um, you haven't been able to lose weight. Um, I bet you any money that you will usually try to start a new healthy routine, whatever it is. Um, whatever that looks like to you. But after a few days, maybe you um, stop because you're exhausted. Maybe it is just too overwhelming. Or maybe you do well for a day or two, like you start on the Monday, and then by Wednesday, you're back on the sofa eating chips, watching Netflix, right? Um, it's time for a new approach to weight loss, one that doesn't shame you, um, confuse you, overwhelm you, or force you to eliminate at all. Um, this is what everything that I'm teaching on these live streams and everything that I'm teaching in my community and in anything that I offer on my blog and on my um, podcast, these are all the things that I've done to lose 60 pounds, to invite in a lot of abundance and happiness and a huge change into my life. And this is what I take all of my clients through as well. And over the years, I've developed this really effective system um, to weight loss that is sustainable, it's healthy, and it has nothing to do with diets or meal plans. How exciting is that? Um, together, we're going to look at your psychology, your purpose, your priorities, and your persuasion. And each live stream and every blog and everything that I do is going to propel you towards losing weight, making peace with food, and finally feeling better for good so that you can focus on your big mission, which is to somehow change the world, right? So awesome. Hey, Sarah. Hi! Yay! <laughs> um, so I'm really glad that you're here watching this live. Um, please comment like Sarah did. Let me know that you're here. Um, send a like or a love or whatever um, and uh, let's get started. So today I'm going to dive into, this is something that's really, really, really fun. Um, not, not a serious thing, although it should be taken seriously because it's very powerful and it works. This is about visualizing yourself to success. So first I want to talk about um, what this kind of has to do with. So visualization um, works along the principle of law of attraction. And if this is all new to you, um, you can just Google law of attraction and go down the rabbit hole and <laughs> you'll learn so much about it. But basically, in, the, in a nutshell, what it means is whatever you focus on is what you get. Whatever you focus on expands. Or as Bob Proctor likes to say, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Okay? So what this means is if you have a goal or you have an idea in mind or you want something, you desire something, if you take action steps towards visualizing that to happen, and I'll talk about what that looks like in a second, um, chances are it's going to happen for you. Now, this is a double-edged sword because if you're focusing always on the negative, that's what you're going to get too, right? So you have to be very, very, very careful with what you're thinking, what you're um, visualizing and everything. And this isn't to say that you can never have a bad day because we all have bad days. Um, but it's just what are you focusing on the majority of time? So there's, there's a whole um, metaphysical law of attraction, but we also have something in our brain called the reticular activating system. And this is sort of like the part of our brain that makes this happen for us. And it's like, you know, when you um, are thinking of buying a car and say you're thinking about buying like a Volkswagen Be Beetle, like a red one or something. And then all of a sudden you just see them everywhere, right? 
that's your reticular activating system or the law of attraction at play there. You're thinking about it, you're dreaming about it, you desire it, you want it, and now you see them everywhere. That, when you're visualizing success in your life, whether it's to lose weight, get healthier, or business success, or to find a, a, a person of your dreams, a man or a woman or whatever, whatever that is for you, um, whatever you focus on is what your reticular activating system is going to highlight for you in your universe. So this is where if you're constantly thinking negative thoughts, if you're constantly saying, oh, I'm never going to lose weight. Look how fat I am. I'm just so horrible. I might as well give up. Um, I'm, I'm never going to be rich. Like money is so hard to come by. That is the kind of um, words and thoughts that you're putting out into the universe. And so your reticular activating system is going to see nothing but that. You're going to see nothing but people who are broke or people who are overweight. Every time you look in the mirror, you're just going to see that in your body and so on and so forth. So, but by saying there's like so much wealth out there and the wealth is available to absolutely anybody who puts their mind to it and takes action towards getting it. My body is curvy and it's hot and my man loves my body. And when I dress it up nicely instead of frumpy clothes, when I dress myself up nicely, damn, I look good. Now, the next time you look in the mirror, yeah, the voice is still going to be there telling you you're full of shit, but you're going to be attracting more to see that beauty that's within you or when you're looking out there your bank account might be zero but you're seeing oh look at all these people who've done it you know look at all these people who maybe started from zero and now they're at the top like drake right um so that's kind of like a nutshell of of what this means and I wanted to show you sort of like what my system is for doing this. And I have several things that I do um, to attract what I want in my life. Um, the first thing is gratitude. And I just realized I don't have my journal with me in my office. Um, but I'm using the five-minute journal. And it's something that you can get online. Um, if you're in Canada, I suggest getting it off Indigo. Um, and what that does is it basically like you're writing out your gratitudes in the morning and what it is that how you would like your day to go. And then at night, you're reviewing everything, writing what, what was like awesome today and going from there. And I have found that since I've been starting to use that journal about um, like 80% of the time in the morning, it's like six in the morning, I'm writing out like what would make today great? Well, today would be great if I blah, blah, blah. And then I forget all about it. And then... Um, evening rolls around and I review my day and I'm like, holy shit, that happened. And I'm literally like putting tick marks. That's like basically designing my day, choosing how things are going to go and telling the universe I'm freaking serious about whatever it is that I, that I want. So that's one way. So gratitude really helps you appreciate what it is that you have that is positive and good so that you attract more of that into you. And um, I know Miss Oprah is big on gratitude. She's been gratitude journaling for years and years and years and years. And um, she talks about this a lot. So, and look at how friggin' successful that woman is. That is no accident, okay? Um, and there's a lot of people who talk about gratitude. Um, then there's vision boards, which I'll show you my vision boards. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, I've always kind of had some sort of vision board. Um, and they're just fun. Um, it's just something that you can, um, what I use is Canva, which is an online tool. Um, if you're an online entrepreneur, you probably already know what Canva is. And what I do is I create a presentation and then I just grab images from the web and I put them on um, a presentation and then I print it and I post it up on my wall. Um, if you're not if you're not familiar with Canva and don't feel like learning a new um, software, you can use like PowerPoint um, to create like a presentation and put all your images on that or get just a big massive Bristol board, cut out pictures from magazines, find pictures on the internet of whatever it is that you desire and then like totally, you know, glue <laughs> and have like a fun sort of thing. Um, I usually do this every new year and then throughout the year as well. And um, this year, what I did, and I'll show you in a second. So this year, what I did was Danielle Laporte's, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of her book right off the top of my head. I'll get it in a second. Um, I did her book and went through how I, Core Desired Feelings, that's what it's called. And I wanted to figure out how I wanted to feel. And 
what I didn't realize at the time of doing this is that that's actually tapping into more of my feminine energy. So I've been doing a lot of work lately around um, tapping more into what my feminine energy is um, and not always operating completely out of the masculine. And for me, looking at how I want to feel every day in my business, even though our emotions can go all over the place, I still ha wanted to have sort of like a baseline of how I want to feel on a daily basis. And if what I'm doing doesn't align with that, then I know that it's probably not the right thing for me to do. So I went through her book and I came up with some words, which I'll share with you in a minute. Um, and then a second um, visualization exercise I did was actually, um, it was after I'd had a conversation with one of my clients. And she said to me that she really loved Oprah. I think we were talking about who do you resonate with? And she mentioned Oprah. And I said, okay, cool. I mean, who doesn't, right? Um, and I said to her, but what is it specifically about Oprah that you that you liked? And she was telling a story about how she met Oprah and like they came together like this. And when Oprah looked at her, it was like there was nobody else on the planet. There is an intensity, and I've heard this before. So Oprah does this. She has this intensity um, when you meet her, which is so awesome and so beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. And I said to my client, you know you're like that, right? <laughs> and she was kind of taken aback and didn't realize that the quality, the qualities that she saw in Oprah, she had. And so I got her to do an exercise um, where we looked at other like celebrities and other people who she looked up to and what was it about them that their characteristics, because it's not just about how much money they make or how popular they are or anything like that. It's about their characteristics and, and, and what is it that she was drawn to that enabled her to, that made her feel a certain way, okay? And I said, because those are the qualities that you already have, but just are buried, right? They're buried underneath guilt, shame, bullshit, 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 bullshit that we're working on, on layering um, with every session, right? Um, hence why the weight starts shedding, because when you start shedding all that bullshit, all the weight starts shedding. It's a lot of fun. Um, so I'll show you my uh, vision boards in a moment. And then um, affirmations um, are another great way of sort of, again, focusing on that positive, you know. Um, my current one is for every dollar I spend, I get three in return. How fun is that, right? Um, there's so many things that you can think of in terms of affirmations. So, for example, um, let's say I'm fat, I'm unattractive, I'll never figure this out. Like, how many of you are sitting here going, like, I'm never going to figure out this weight loss thing, right? Never going to figure this out. Um, I'm exhausted. You know, think about that. If you're telling yourself, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted, you are going to, you're just, your cells, everything is going to be exhausted all the time. So you can replace those thoughts. And I, and I would encourage you not to go so far to like, I'm a multi-billionaire because our subconscious minds just won't believe it. And it's bullshit in our, in our, in our subconscious minds. So in order to get a little bit of buy-in from your subconscious, you want to be friends with your subconscious if you possibly can. Um, if you are overweight, it's unrealistic for you to walk around and say, I'm, I'm skinny and you know, I'm, I'm a fashion model. That's not true. And you probably don't want to be a fashion model. You just want to be, look healthier and feel sexier in your body. So instead of saying I'm a skinny bitch, you can say I'm curvy. I'm curvy. I love my curves. I love my curves, right? And that just shifts it from I'm fat and I'm frumpy. Look at my back fat. Look at my, you know, I remember all the bra fat and the belly fat. No, I remember all of that. Um, instead, I'm curvy. I have like beautiful curves on my body. And, you know, if you're with a man, like, a, and my man loves to like touch my curves or I like to touch my curves, whatever, no judgment. Um, I'll never figure this out. I'm doing my best every day. I'm doing a, a little bit to get to where I want to go, right? That 1%. We're doing sort of like a 1% challenge here, aren't we? Um, I, uh, what was the other thing? I'm exhausted. Um, I remove anything that blocks my energy. Exhaustion, 
usually isn't always a sleep deprivation thing. It is because you're doing shit that you don't want to do or you're thinking a lot of really negative thoughts and you're, it, that takes up so much energy, right? So you could be feeling exhausted just simply because of your thoughts. Um, so looking at it that you're removing anything that's blocking your energy or your vibrancy could be taking somebody out of your life who no longer needs to be in your life because they're just no good, right? Um, so affirmations are a really fun way and a really great way to, um, again, it's like boosting your confidence. It's helping you focus on, on the positive. Um, another thing that I've done is recordings. So again, it's kind of like affirmations, um, writing out, you know, what, what your ideal life is, what your ideal day is, writing out your ideal day is a lot of fun. Um, and you know, and then recording yourself saying it and then listening to it before you go to bed is super, super, super powerful. So that's always a fun thing to do. Um, and then, of course, meditation. Um, you know, when you when you get to the point where your meditation is productive, um, then meaning that there there is some stillness there. Um, it's amazing the kinds of things that you can, you know, attract and meditate on and, and all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to be deep diving into meditation on Thursday, so I'm not going to go too deep into that right now. Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you my vision board and the stuff that I've got going on. Don't judge. They're not super fancy. I'm not like a designer or anything, but um, who cares? Like it's, it's for me and that's all that matters. Um, so I'm going to pick this up now and well first, okay, so that right there, hang on, let me flip. Wait. Okay. So this right here, this is a million dollar bill. And this is something that I got, oh God, when I was a kid. And for some strange reason, I always kept it. I just always had it. And so now, ta-da, <laughs> it's framed because one of my goals is to be a millionaire. Why not? Okay, so here is um, an example of what I was talking about with the Oprah and my client, okay? So these are um, my people here. These are the people who I resonate with. And so I just did this in Canva. And so for example, let's like zoom in here on Jane Fonda, okay? Um, I love her. I think she's just, she's so gorgeous. She's so poised. She's so elegant. And you know, she has strength, class, beauty. She's an entrepreneur, right? Like, I mean, she's the first one who did the fitness and then she turned into a freaking huge movie star, right? She's confident, elegant, all of that. And then we've got um, not so much Kim Cattrall, but Sam, Samantha from Sex and the City and my girlfriends who know me, yeah. Um, I exude that. And um, here there's beauty and elegance, bold and brash. Um, she's also an entrepreneur on the show. She's unapologetic. I love that about her. And she's strong and she's got confidence. And then over here we've got um, Chelsea Handler. I just love her. She's so generous and she's really smart, really, really, really smart. And she's witty and she's funny, but she's also unapologetic and she's also elegant. Um, if you watch her show, her house is just so beautifully decorated. Um, and then we've got Anna Forrest who, oh, I just, I love her. Um, she's strength, resilience, um, relentlessness, resilience. She, her mission is to mend the hoop of the people, which is so awesome. Um, she's all about movement and health and mastering your mindset. And she's very centered. And I just, you know, I, I, I like all of these people I want, and I probably do embody a lot of these qualities and when I'm having a bad day, all I have to do is look over here and be like, okay, if these guys did it, I can do it, right? And I've got Tony up here too because, um, again, he's unapologetic. He's strong. He's mending the hoop of his people, right? He's got a big mindset and health focus. Um, he's centered. He's confident. I mean, like, who doesn't want a man like that either anyway, right? Um, and then I've got Shailene Johnson. I think she's just a lot of fun. Um, she's just fun and she's tiny. She's pint sized like me. So I have a thing about me being small, which is, you know, a stupid limiting belief of mine. So having her 
as sort of like a talisman in a way. It's like, oh, small people can be like, can like command a room. <laughs> All right. So here's my other um, vision boards here that I've got. And um, with the words, oops, I've got some furniture here I need to move. Um, with the words of my year. So um, I've got affluence and how much money I'm looking to make this year. Um, this is just something that a friend of mine um, suggested that I keep on hand to remind myself not to back out with sales um, because sales can be, you know, hard to do and and you can remember you can forget sometimes to really really serve that person on the other end of the phone and so and that means sometimes getting uncomfortable on a call um so this is a reminder for that for me to fight for my clients dreams um and then we've got like just traveling i love traveling um i love yoga i want i love money <laughs> i love new york you know all of that um and then these are my words. So these were the words that I chose. So affluent was one of them. And then I've got positive, positive and grateful here. Um, I really wanted to embody these qualities this year. Um, ease, right? Like I wanted to feel at ease with whatever it is that I'm doing for the most part. I also wanted to feel sumptuous. Um, this was important to me. So this was like all about um, that mag magnetism and using that sexual energy. Um, and then in love too, like feeling in love with myself, feeling in love with my job, feeling in love with everything. And then I've added some new words here, like faith, um, commitment, discernment, um, and, and trust, like trusting, um, my intuition more, trusting the universe and seeing with faith, um, and discernment, um, was a big one. And that one actually came from, um, Anna. So, and now you see my messy office. I need a designer. <laughs> I need a designer to help me design my office. Wait, I'm going to flip. Hang on. Okay. So, um, I hope that was interesting to you. And, and I just want to say that this stuff really, really works. So I'll share really quickly, um, my experience. Cause I mentioned, um, on the, uh, the thing to promote um, this live stream that I traveled Europe and I got my dream job and all this kind of stuff. So basically, I was doing all of this stuff without knowing I was doing this stuff for years and years and years and years. Um, so a really, really long time ago, uh, I, I talked about this a little bit in a recent blog post. I was um, in a really bad relationship. I, I was young. I was with this guy from the time I was 16 till 25 and it was a horrific bad relationship on so many levels which I won't go into now. Anyway, <laughs> throughout the time of being with him, um, I just constantly thought I want to travel, I want to travel, I want to travel and I somehow remember I had tapes, they were personal development tapes. So I was into all this stuff before I even knew what any of this was and um, I don't remember who did the tapes. Maybe they were Tony Robbins. I, I doubt it though. Um, and I don't even remember what was on the tapes or what they were talking about. But anyway, um, I was just constantly thinking, I want to travel. I want to travel. I want to have a passport full of stamps. That was, that was it. That was all I was thinking about. I had no money. Um, if you saw my life then, there's no way I would have gotten on a plane anywhere. Like the, it just wasn't part of my reality. And then, um, and then it was, and what ended up happening was the how ended up being that I met a man, like I'd broken up with this other guy. I'd met another man who just happened to live in England and I moved over to be with him in England. We ended up getting married and I traveled all over the place from there. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? And my passport, I still have it. It was, it was full of stamps, full of them. So I got what I wanted. And then that relationship broke down um, while I was there. And, and um, when I was planning on coming back to Toronto, I spent every single night, I was listening to Paul McKenna. And he has this like confidence hypnosis CD thing. And I was listening to that every single night um, in the bath. That was my routine. I would have a bath and I would listen to him. And then that was, that was kind of it. And 
what I was visualizing, and again, I didn't realize I was visual. I didn't have the verbiage for this yet. And I was thinking I want um, an apartment with floor to ceiling windows um, that's downtown and blah, blah, blah. I want like a really super awesome busy job downtown Toronto with a Blackberry. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. Um, and blah, 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 blah. I had all these like sort of things that I knew I wanted. And I was just like, I want these things. Anyway, I come back to Toronto. And my first week of coming home, ah, I was like, there's no job. I couldn't find an apartment. I didn't know what I was doing. And then all of a sudden, I got this beautiful apartment that had floor to ceiling windows that was in a great area in the city. And I got my job, um, my corporate job that I wanted um, in the same week. It was just, it was crazy. However, my big, <laughs> my big advice though, is that I wasn't specific enough in my visualization, in my manifestation. And so that's a big takeaway here. And whatever it is that you're looking and you're visualizing, you're dreaming and you're scheming to make sure you're super, super specific. Because what I missed out with the apartment was that it was really expensive and the job, I didn't specify that I wanted to make good money. And so I didn't. And it was, it was a really high, high, high pressure, um, highly stressful, very senior job for like ridiculously low pay. <laughs> and my boss was a little bit of a, not very nice. Um, so I should have also included high salary, <laughs> At least, at least this salary and above, and a boss who at least, you know, blah, 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 who has some qualities, right? So there's only so much we can control. Um, also, the universe knows better for us, and sometimes we get things that we're just like, what the hell? Um, but it's usually for our highest and best good. So, you know, I would say, though, when you are visualizing, try to be as specific as possible because you will get what you ask for. Um, it's like Anna Forrest talks about this in her book when she was trying to manifest a man. Um, she kept getting like animals and then she, you know, she was getting all these random things that were coming into her life. And she's like, OK, so she, every time she went back she's like, and must be a human man, <laughs> must be not married, must be blah, blah, blah. So. Yeah, I think that's all I want to share. I'm feeling a little bit complete here. And um, if you have any questions or anything like that about this, this is a lot of fun. And, and you know, the whole weight loss, getting getting healthy, it's, it's so serious a lot of the time um, because it does involve reprogramming your brain and, you know, doing things that you maybe haven't been doing before. And, and a lot of that is, is work. Um, retraining your brain in that in that kind of way slaying your sabotages it takes courage it takes tenacity um and it's it's a slow game it's not something that can be done overnight and so to bring in the stuff that's also fun while you're doing that i think is great and it makes it like bearable so you're not just kind of like hanging on for dear life and can be like a fun little sort of distraction when things get super super serious um, so that's what all I wanted to say um, about this particular topic. Please let me know if you have any questions. And if you are ready to start deep diving into, you know, whatever's got you stuck, um, if you're done with like trying out Whole30 again or Weight Watchers again for the hundredth time, um, you're tired of starting on a Monday, giving up by Wednesday, you're tired of, you know, the, the chips and the Netflix ritual that you have, um, you just, you know, you're looking at your life and you're looking at yourself and you're wondering how the hell you got here, but you don't know how to undo all of this reach out to me. Um, I will put a link in the comments for you to um, schedule a call with me so that we can talk about this and see what a good plan for you would be going forward and um, get you unstuck and, and shift you into this new way of approaching uh, weight loss and getting healthy so that you can take care of the world in a big way because the world needs you and it needs you healthy and it needs you happy and it needs you unapologetic okay like those women all right so go have fun go visualize get some affirmations create a vision board do whatever it is that you want to do and make sure that you schedule in a time with me as well to deep dive into all of this for you personally 
thank you so much. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about how to mompreneur like a boss. And on Thursday I'm going to be talking about um, how to meditate to elevate. So I will see you on those live streams. Bye for now. Thank you for whoever's watching live. Bye.